Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Toponymic Collection from Muse Polish. So Muse Polish is a new to me indie brand. So I will link their website down below. This is the second part of an ongoing collection that is based on last names and their origins. So there are 10 polishes here all together. I will link the Muse Polish website down below where you guys can check these out and I'll get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Berkeley, and this is described as a white curly base with black flakes, gunmetal, micro flakes, and green to blue multi-chrome flakies. So this is a curly, so it was pretty sheer on that first coat, but there are a lot of flakies in there. I ended up doing three coats all together because it was still a little bit sheer even on that second coat. Although I prefer the look of this with three coats anyway, I like the base built up a little bit better. You do also get some pretty decent coverage out of the flakies in here. And this won't remove like a glitter. Those flakies are gonna lay relatively flat and they'll break up a little bit on removal, but they won't stick to the nail. So that is three coats of Berkeley. So the next polish is called Epsley, and this is described as a warm off-white curly with copper gold chartreuse and black flakes, orange gold chameleon flakes, and green gold multichrome flakes. So I love the mix of colors in here. The base was a little bit sheer, but actually covered pretty well for what it is on the first coat. So there are a few polishes in this collection where when I did my initial swatches and took my notes, my nails were really, really short. And by the time I got around to filming the swatches, my nails had grown out a bit. So I only did two coats here because that's what I had in my notes. But looking back at this footage, I think I should have done a third for this one. I would have liked just a little more coverage out of that base. So that is two coats of Epsley. So the next polish is called Otley, and this is described as an oatmeal crelly base with copper, gold, green, multi-chrome pigments, gunmetal microflakes, red microflakes, and coppery multi-chrome flakies. So the base was pretty sheer with this one, and the flakies and all the elements in it are smaller, so you're really relying on that base for coverage. I ended up doing three coats all together for this one. Most everything that's in here is gonna lay really flat and nothing's gonna stick to the nail too bad. There were some darker flakies in here that did stick up a little bit and added a little bit of texture. So you will want a top coat to smooth that out, but I don't think they're big enough to really grip onto the nail. So you shouldn't have any issues with removal. So that is three coats of Otley. The next polish is called Kearsley, and this is described as a pale gray-blue crelly with varying sizes and shades of matte and metallic green hex and dot glitters. So the base here is a little bit sheer, but there is a ton of glitter in this polish, which you do get quite a bit of coverage from just the glitter itself. However, a lot of glitter does mean that this runs a bit thicker. I ended up applying it with kind of a combination of dabbing and swiping to make sure that the glitter stayed on the nail rather than swipe right back off and also to kind of distribute it as evenly as possible. I did only need two coats for this one, but this is going to dry very textured because there is a lot of glitter and it's a lot of chunky glitter and you will have a lot of trouble with removing this if you don't use something like a peel off base coat. So that is two coats of Kearsley. The next polish is called Solly, and this is described as a taupe gray curly with green, silver, multi-chrome flakies. Again, a little bit sheer on the first coat, but not terrible. The bases are getting darker from here on out, so they'll be a little bit easier to build up. I do think this has a good balance of base color and flakies. Um, it's a darker color and it builds up to that darker color in two coats, but you don't lose those flakies completely. I do wish I had done three. This is one of those ones where when I looked back at my footage, I was like, yeah, I feel like I probably should have done a third coat just to cover up a little bit of sh like overall sheerness that I had. So that is two coats of Zolly. The next polish is called Hockley, and this is described as a dusty forest green crelly with green, pink, purple, and white matte and metallic glitters, including stars of two different sizes. And there's actually some like really long armed starfish looking stars in here that I've never seen before. So this one is definitely more of a jelly base. So it's a very sheer, slightly tinted base. There is a lot of glitter in here, not quite as much glitter as Kersley, so it doesn't add as much thickness, but you do have to apply this with more of a dabbing motion because a lot of that glitter is large. And if you just swipe it across the nail, you'll swipe it right back off. So you kind of have to do a combination of dabbing and padding and swiping with these large glitter polishes to get them nice and evenly distributed. 
I was good with this one in two coats. You will definitely want top coat to smooth that glitter out and it's definitely going to be difficult to remove because large glitters really like to stick to the nail. This also did seem to dry a little bit dull, so another reason for top coat. So that is two coats of Hockley. The next polish is called Ridley and this is described as a khaki green crelly with brown shredded glitter. So this one is another more of a jelly base. I guess it leans a little bit more crelly, but it's jellyish, so it is a little bit sheer. The flakies that are in here are very large and they will stick up a bit. So you definitely wanna treat them like a glitter with kind of a dabbing and patting, evenly distribute them motion. If someone had described this polish to me, I would think that I wouldn't like it, but actually seeing it on my nails, I really like the color combination. It is a little bit more cumbersome to work with because those flakies are, are thicker and big, but I think it looks really cool at the end. You will definitely want top coat for this. So that is two coats of Ridley. This is another one that I think I probably should have done a third. The next polish is called Wrigley, and this is described as a jewel blue crelly with copper blue and teal green flakes. This one is nicely opaque on the first coat for a crelly base, which is really nice because those flakies are really small, so you're not gonna get a ton of coverage out of them, although there are quite a few in there. This built really well for me in two coats. I could see you maybe needing three if you apply with a really heavy hand. You might create some uneven spots, but I think you would need a really heavy hand for that. Those flakies that are in there are going to dry relatively flat and mostly smooth, but still use top coat because you should use top coat anyway. So that is two coats of Wrigley. The next polish is called Blakely, and this is described as a desaturated teal crelly with black flakes and green cyan sapphire multi-chrome flakes. This one definitely leans a little bit more on the jelly side of crelly base, but lots of flakies, and I just love those little tiny black flakies. This went on very, very evenly, so nice even coverage between the flakies and the base. There is a slight texture from those flakies, but it's nothing that just a normal top coat couldn't handle. This is another one that looking back on my footage, I only did two coats, but I wish I would have done three. I think I would have gotten a lot nicer coverage out of three coats. So that is two coats of Blakely. And the last polish is called Thorley, and this is described as a rich brown crelly with orange gold chameleon flakes and brown shredded glitter. So this is another one where the base is just sheer enough that you don't lose any of those flakies in there. This has those same really large shredded glitter flakes that were in Ridley, so they are a little bit cumbersome. You do have to do quite a bit of adjusting to get them in the right spot. Sometimes they stick out weirdly and you gotta like tap them back into place, but it's nothing different than working with a really large glitter would be. These large shredded glitters just kind of have a mind of their own. So this is another one that I wish I would have done three coats for for coverage after looking back at my footage, but I also think three coats might have gotten a little too thick with how large those glitters are and then needing a really good thick top coat, if not two coats of top coat, to smooth them out. So I don't know whether I would have wanted to call this at two or three, but that is two coats of Thorley. So I have two favorites here. For some reason, I just like never fully boarded the multi-chrome flaky in Crelly Base train. And I don't know why, because I don't have any like specific complaint or any like major issue with them. They just never like fully appealed to me. So I was very surprised that Epsley and Otley, Otley really stood out to me like like a lot. I don't know, I think it's because the flakies were smaller and it wasn't, they're not like just a mix of multi-chrome flakies, which I mean, there's only like one polish in here, I think that's just a mix of multi-chrome flakies. But for some reason, just the, the mix of the colors of flakies that are all really, really small in these shades, these two base shades, I really, really liked these. So I think I would say Epsley is probably my favorite out of the two, um, but they're very closely tied. So that is the Toponymic Part 2 collection from Muse Polish. Again, I will link that website down below where you guys can check these out. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later.